Hi there, Sensei Jim Wilson from Aikido Gihu Jin. Now, when most people think about meditation, they tend to think about something that's inward thinking and self-reflective. This meditation differs from that slightly in as much as that it's totally focused on projection and thinking outwards. Now, the main thing that you control when you're doing the meditation is your breathing. Now, we've previously covered this in our key breathing video. You can check that out in the box above in the links below. Now, the way you control your breathing is by continually breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Make sure when you breathe in that you hold your breath very briefly. When you breathe out, you release your breath and you very briefly hold your breath. So it's about controlled breathing, it's not just about breathing. But it's a natural breath, what you're naturally comfortable with. So don't breathe in for too long and struggle to control the breath. Make it, make it a natural breath for you, but base it on the techniques that you've seen in the key breathing video. So exactly how do we do this meditation and extend outwards? Well, a lot of it is to do with what we do with our hands. So what you do is you simply place your hands in front of you, palms up, you get the left index finger and you put your right index finger under it so that the right hand is below the left hand and all you do is interlock your fingers. After we've done this we elevate it forwards and we lightly touch the index fingers and we bring the heels of the hands together. Then we simply place the left thumb over the top of the right thumb and project outwards. Then what you do is you extend and elevate your hands in front of you. Now at this point you can place a picture in front of you or an image and you can select for example a loved one, a friend, somebody who's passed on, and what it does is it gives you something to focus your mind on. Most people think meditations are about totally emptying your mind, but focusing your mind on something that is important to you, image, person, is great for taking, taking yourself out of yourself, and that is the meditation. So it's projection. Once you've done that, focus. To elevate this notion and take it to a higher level, you can close your eyes. This improves the way that you focus out and project. Because once you can close your eyes and keep an image, a strong image in your mind, that you focus in, it can be limitless. The image in your mind can be the extreme edges of the universe. Now the kneeling position which you meditate from for this particular meditation is which in Japanese is known as Siza. This can be difficult to master, it looks simple, but it's not a Western way of sitting. So feel free, it's pointless doing a meditation <laughs> when you're in pain, sit comfortably. So that may involve
sitting cross-legged. This is a nice, relaxed position. But ultimately you should aim for sitting in Caesar or kneeling. Because one of the benefits of this meditation is to develop an incredibly strong mind. So if you, if you sit in this position initially, try and develop and work towards being able to sit in Caesar. Now for a little background for you, kneeling for excessive periods is actually a stressed position, position which is used for interrogation. So developing the positive mindset to be able to be strong and to be able to go into a zone where all, all, all those kinds of thoughts and negativities just drift away and become non-existent. It's a good mind frame to develop. So I would urge that you try and try and try to push yourself each time that you do this meditation. But periodically go back from within your maximum so that you can enjoy the meditation. So if you're new to this meditation, you can cut the circulation off in your legs a little bit, so don't rapidly stand up when you, you're finished. The way we would advise that you do this is at this point, bring your knee through, your leg through, Sit back down, bring your other leg through, give your thighs, your calves, and your legs a little massage before you even attempt to stand up. That should bring the circulation back nicely. And if you're more comfortable and you're more experienced with this, so get disciplined to stand up as quick as you can because you should know your body. So all you do for that, for, for that version of this, kick this leg out and stand. Now if you enjoyed that video, um, like and subscribe. Um, if there's anybody that you think would benefit from it that could, could actually push themselves into the world of meditation, then share it. And yet again, it's not about just being an Aikido practitioner. This is of value to anybody who's experiencing stress of any description. So thanks very much. Like and subscribe.